Hi friends, I decided to get a little vloggy with you today. This isn't necessarily a financial video, but I am chopping all my hair off and donating it. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. So the title of the video wasn't clickbait. I am getting rid of all of this. Now, what you may not know is that when I started my debt-free journey almost four years ago, I actually decided to start growing out my hair to sell it. If you didn't know, there is a market for human hair for wigs, extensions, everything like that. You can actually get a pretty penny for selling your untreated, naturally colored hair for profit. And I had decided to do that and essentially I got out of debt a lot faster than I thought I would. And I got really sick of my long hair. It's a huge bear to brush and it's just getting a little too long for comfort and I don't necessarily need the money anymore. Now we could all use maybe three or four hundred dollars for something I could put it at my baby step three but granted that I am not in dire financial straits anymore I decided that if I'm going to cut my hair I should probably donate it to people who need it. So I did my online research and a lot of you have probably heard that Locks of Love has some shady business practices. So I'm actually going with the organization Pantene's Beautiful Links, which works directly with the American Cancer Society to provide wigs to people who need it. They also don't sell hair to make money, which Locks of Love does. They sell their excess product. So every hair donation that gets sent in goes either in the trash because it's completely unusable or onto a wig for someone that is battling cancer, which is something I can definitely get behind. I will link the organization down below if you wanna check out more about them. If they have any shady business practices, I haven't been able to find them on the internet. I really wanted a hair donation to go somewhere and do some good if I was going to do that versus making money just for my own purposes. So I am about to go get my hair cut. Um, I'm actually not gonna cut, I'm gonna cut about this much off. I'm still gonna have hair about right here, but that's gonna be about 14 inches or so, maybe a little more. I haven't measured this in a while. Um, last time I measured it, I actually took some pictures to sell it online and I just never got around to it. I had like 20 plus inches of hair that I could sell if I went really short. So I'm gonna keep it just a little bit reasonable because I don't look good with super short hair. So let's go get my hair cut. Okay, that's actually more like 16 inches. I got curious, maybe a little longer. <laughs> All right, so quick. As you can see, it goes down past my belt and Honestly, it gets stuck in so many things. It gets stuck in my purse, it gets stuck in car doors. People like lie on it. Cats like to use it as batting toys. It's time to cut. <laughs> By the way, 16 inches is actually double the required donation that Beautiful Lengths requires. Um, different organizations have different length requirements. Beautiful Lengths only has an eight inch requirement. Locks of Love and some of the other organizations have 10 plus, but I think I got it. <laughs>
Okay, guys. So a lot of hair fell and I have almost 15 inches, I think. I'll have to measure it later, but about 15 inches to donate to Pantene's Beautiful Lengths, which the hairstylist said is the one that she recommends people donate to, which is amazing. Sweet Stacy was my hairstylist. She was so great. And I tend to just trust hairstylists. I showed her a couple of pictures of kind of the length that I wanted, and I told her that I'm lazy and I don't do much with my hair. And she's like, okay, we'll layer it up a little for you. I'm gonna do a little bit of an angled cut. And I was like, I'm in your hands. And I'm thrilled with how it turned out. I don't have any, I don't have a ton of hair anymore. And <laughs> okay, there we go. Hmm. I like it. <laughs> All right.